Okay, so number uh, example A. Okay, all right. So multiplication and division. We've done both here. They're combined. Okay, all right. So A. Well, we, I think the best approach to this is multiplying first. So you notice in the numerator you're multiplying x to the third times x to the tenth. When you multiply, you add the exponents. Okay, so you have this x to the thirteenth. Right, three plus ten is thirteen. Then you still have this x to the 8 down here. Now you have a division. Okay, You have a division with exponential terms with the same base, both x. So when we divide, we're going to subtract the exponents. 13 minus 8, well, 13 minus 8 is 5. So this ends up being x to the 5th. Okay. All right, uh, letter B. This time, the multiplication is in the denominator. Let's go ahead and simplify that. Multiplication, we add the exponents, right? 9 plus 2 is 11. So this is x to the 11th. We have x to the 5th up here. All right, now we're going to divide same base. So since they have the same base, we're going to subtract the exponents. 5 minus 11. 5 minus 11 is negative 6. So you have x to the negative 6. The instructions say leave no negative exponents in your final answer. So negative x to the negative 6, we know what to do with negative exponents now. I'm going to rewrite this as a fraction. Okay, 1 will go in the numerator, x to the negative 6 will become x to the positive 6. Okay, so uh, 1 over x to the 6th power. One more x times x to the fifth. Remember, if there's no exponent written on this term, that means there's a one exponent there. Right? It's x to the one times x to the fifth. x to the one times x to the fifth, well, one plus five is six. Then I have an x to the ninth. Okay. Now it's a division with same bases, right? The same base being x. So I'm going to subtract 6 minus 9. 6 minus 9 is negative 3. So this is going to be x to the negative 3. All right, negative exponents. Leave no negative exponents. I'm going to rewrite this as a fraction. 1 over x to the positive 3. Okay. All right, let's look at the examples down here for d. This time, we're going to simplify. Now the bases aren't just variables. They're numbers, so we can simplify further. Okay. All right, 9 to the third times 9 squared. Okay. All right, multiplication. Add the exponents. 3 plus 2 is 5, so this is 9 to the fifth power. And here we have a 9 to the seventh power. Now, division, same base of 9, so we're going to subtract the exponents. 5 minus 7, the order matters, okay? So 5 minus 7 is negative 2. This is going to be 9 to the negative 2. Leave no negative exponents, okay? 9 to the negative 2, what's that mean? 1 over 9 to the positive 2, just like the top, right? But instead of having x as your base, right, you have a 9 now, so you can simplify this further. 9 to the positive 2, 9 to the second power, that's going to be 81. So your simplified answer here is 1 over 81. Okay, let's take a look at E. Do the multiplication first. 6, 7 to the 6, times 7 to the 6. Add those exponents. This is going to be 7 to the 12th power, 6 plus 6. Then I have a 7 to the 14th power here. Now it's division with same bases. So when I divide and they have the same base, I'm going to subtract 14 minus 12. 14 minus 12 is 2. The base stays the same as 7, at 7. 14 minus 12 is 2. That's our exponent. No negative exponent here to rewrite as a fraction, right? This is just 7 squared. 7 squared, that's 49. 7 times 7. All right, last one. Do the multiplication first. That's in the denominator this time. Okay. All right, so I have 5 plus 9, so the base is 3. 5 plus 9 is 14. And then I have 3 to the 10th power. Now I have a division, so division, uh, go ahead and subtract the exponents. 10 minus 14 is 4, 
uh, is negative 4, right? So this is going to be 3 to the negative 4 power. Negative exponents, I have to rewrite it as a fraction. 1 over 3 to the 4th power. Okay? 3 to the 4th power, we can simplify this further because the base is an actual number, not just a variable. 3 to the 4th power, that's 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9. Right? This 3 times 3 is also 9. That's 9 times 9. That's 81. Okay? So this is also 1 over 81. Okay? Just like in number D, uh, example D.